Uh, so this is another um, hematologic condition, uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, um, and it's a disease of B lymphocytes. Uh, and uh, B lymphocytes, uh, one of the critical molecules in a B cell is immunoglobulin, uh, which it makes and uses for two functions. One is as a receptor and also as an effector molecule. In this particular disease, the, the immunoglobulin is almost restricted to the membrane. Um, and the discussion that I'll present today are um, data that have been generated for, uh, by a number of uh, members of the Feinstein uh, that uh, focus on the role of the, B, uh, of the surface membrane immunoglobulin, the B cell receptor, in this disease. Okay, so this is a very antibody-oriented discussion of this disease. So I'll tell you a little bit about it, uh, CLL is a, a relatively common uh, disease amongst uh, adults, um, at least in comparison to uh, Black Van Diamond Syndrome. Uh, uh, it's, the, it's actually the most common adult leukemia in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, it's a disease of aging individuals, um, and uh, it's also a disease primarily of Caucasian males. Uh, the clinical course of this disease is very interesting and unpredictable. So there are some people who have a very benign course. They'll live literally multiple decades after the diagnosis. Many of these people, if they um, fall into this particular category, actually don't require significant chemotherapy. And they'll eventually die of some other problem uh, that's associated with aging. And there are other members, uh, other individuals rather, that get this disease that have just the opposite clinical course. They will be diagnosed and within a few days, a few years of diagnosis uh, will succumb. Um, as I mentioned, this is a disease of uh, clonal B cells. Um, and uh, there are B cells that have a specific surface membrane phenotype in that they express this molecule called CD5. So it's relatively easy to identify CLL cells uh, in the blood because B cells that express CD5 in the normal repertoire are relatively small in number. Um, most of the clones make IgM antibody, and that's the antibody that they will use as the surface membrane receptor, which is what I'll focus on. Um, the cells are seen in the blood because it's a leukemia, but in reality, the majority of the cells are actually in the solid tissue. Um, and the way this, di the, this uh, disease is diagnosed primarily is on routine physical exam. Uh, you get an aging individual who go to uh, his or her doc for uh, a yearly physical and then a white blood cell elevation is picked up and then the diagnosis is made. Um, this is a typical uh, smear of a patient with CLL. Uh, so these are small cells, uh, large nucleus, small cytoplasm, and the nuclear chromatin tends to be relatively condensed. Uh, they express uh, on their surface uh, this molecule CD5 uh, and also other B cell related molecules like CD19 and CD20, as well as membrane immunoglobulin, which is the B cell receptor. And again, that's what we'll focus on. Um, so the take home messages uh, are three. Um, uh, the first is that CLL results from the non random selection and transformation of a B cell that has a surface membrane immunoglobulin restrict receptor of very restricted amino acid conformation, um, and that these receptors can be poly and autoreactive. That is, that they will react with either multiple antigens and or autoantigens. Um, and these autoantigens uh, are either natural antigens or are generated during the processes of apoptosis and other catabolic processes. 